Hi Taurus, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast for couples. Now I'll be using four different spreads to check out your current situation in your relationship, okay? Now please take note that um, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check your other moon rising, okay? And to announce, um, I will be conducting my own workshops in Thailand, Singapore, Maldives, Fiji, and uh, Australia and Canada. But the Australia and Canada, I still have to announce the venue for that, okay? Please watch out and check out my web pages for more announcements. I will be releasing the, the information uh, first week of September, okay? So... Looking forward to see you all there. It's um, I will be conducting workshops for um, for tarot card readers, psychics, and uh, handling the uh, the aftermath of that, and uh, life coaching, self development, soul ascending, karmic debt, um, uh, karmic debts and uh, past life regression, future life regression, what is the importance and other stuff. Okay, I will be putting that all information in my website, so watch out for more announcement. Now let's take a look. This is the hurt feelings. How do you actually hurt each other? Mm -mm -mm. Taurus, looks like you're with someone who is being influenced by their friends. Okay, and how do you see each other? How do you see your partner? How your partner sees you? What your partner wants from you? What you want from your partner? What is the resolution of your partner? What is your resolution in this relationship? Okay. Then I will be pulling out two more spreads, okay? Well, uh, about the uh, where do you go from here and the bottom line. Now, currently, it seems like you're looking for more changes, for like for things to go to the next level, okay? And I feel like your partner is, you know, it's like both of you are really disappointed with how things are going in your relationship. You want changes, you want for things to alleviate, and you want for things to go to the next level. Could be that if you're not yet married, for you to get married, or you're waiting for your partner right now to propose, or to at least have a child. And then your partner feels like, you know, we're okay. Why are you looking for something more? Why are you looking for changes, you know? It's like they are just pretty much contented with how things are going currently. Okay, and what do, what does your partner want from you? It's like, you know, both of you feel so stuck. You, both, it's like you want changes. Your partner feels like, why? Why do you want to have more changes? We're okay. We're fine. You know, let's just stay the way we are right now. Why do you want a child? Why do you want an another responsibility? Or why do you want to get married when we're just going to get divorced, you know? So it's like the two of you used to be, you know, you, you used to have one dream, one goal, one aim, one target. And now you're slowly, you know, moving on to two different pages altogether. And your partner feels like, okay, if we cannot really agree on one thing, then it's much better for us to, to part ways and leave. While you, for you, that's not your resolution. That's not your, you know, th you feel like that's not really the answer to your problems. And you feel like you're still ready to give this a fight. You're ready. You're still ready to, you know, to look for a, for an alternative solution. You know, on how to make things work. And 
you're still wishing for things to fix up and your partner feels like really is there a chance you know like um you're thinking about all the impossible things i don't feel like your partner wants to move on to the next level okay but let's see the, what's what will be the bottom line because for you for you, you're thinking that your partner is kind of having a little bit of disturbance on the side or like a, having their own entertainment. But with you, I mean, with, with your partner feels like, you know... They are so alone in this relationship and it's like they're the only one who wants things to become like this. Yep. Your partner feels like there's still a chance or there, you know, the two of you could still do something. But with you, you feel like your partner, the reason why they are, they want to walk away or they, they don't want to move on to the next level is because that there is somebody. Okay. So how do you hurt each other or, you know, how do you really, it's like, what are the things that's been affecting your relationship? Okay. Hmm. Lack of communications as well. Now, this is how you love your partner. You want to talk. You want to sit down. You want to discuss. It's like you want to, you know, put all the cards on the table and no hidden stuff. Okay, no alibis, no excuses. And this is how you actually hurt your partner by overthinking and overanalyzing things like what i said you feel like your partner the reason why they don't want to go to the next level is because that there is somebody else on the side which is it's not you know that's not actually the case the thing here is you know part your partner is more afraid of making any changes it's like if there's something that you're going to change it might not you know, it might not go through or it might not continue as how it used to be. What if it's going to plummet? What if it's going to, you know, it's going to go down the south and then that's it, you know? So I feel like right now they're acting on their fears and not because that they have someone else. See, the temperance card even came out here. And this is what you've been thinking about your partner. You feel like your partner is cheating on you. Now, how does your partner love you? Your partner feels like you are their best friend, you know, their their comrade, their most trusted resource and stuff like that. But now, how you hurt your how your partner hurts you is because that they're not really relating their feelings. They're not opening up. They're not talking. They're not connecting to you and they are not, you know, like um telling whatever it is that they really want to aim and have and accomplish in this relationship. And How do they de how do they defend themselves? It's like they always want to get busy from work. They always want to cover up their, you know, it's like the reason why they don't want to communicate with you, the reason why they don't want to it's like they don't want to sit down and talk to you is because, you know, they're busy, they're tired, they're preoccupied and stuff like that. But the thing here is they are just afraid to hear that, you know, that greatest thing that they are so afraid of which is of course the two of you that will be parting now what is your current i mean how do you stand in your partner's life and how does your partner stand in your life your partner feels like you know they, they still want to take this to the net to the next level but at their own time and pace your partner always thinks about you your partner really loves you but you, on the other hand, you feel like, you know, it's like I have to make an appointment to my partner so that we can talk. It's like, you know, they're, they always make it appear that they're busy, they're successful, there's stuff like that, and yada, 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 yada. Sometimes, just because that they're always busy and taking care of their work and working so hard, you feel that you no longer exist in their list of priorities or that they don't really care about you, which is, that's not true. Because even if... You know, they are preoccupied. It just so happens that maybe that your partner is really responsible and uh, always thinking about your financial security, your future, you know, because um, I feel like this person is so afraid of going back to being zero. 
okay not because that there is somebody else on the side so you need to open up your 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 mind and your eyes a little bit and i feel like where is it that you're actually going the two of you are still going to try and make things up okay now let's take a look at where do you go from here and the final bottom line well the bottom line i'm sorry not the final bottom line well, looks like, you know, I don't feel like the two of you... I feel like both of you are just too afraid. You know, that's what I can see. Now, I'll be using this for the where do we go from here, and then this for the bottom line, the after tarot. Alright? Alright. This is where you are right now. What's causing the problem? You've forgotten to uh, express. You've forgotten to express. Let's put it a little bit closer here. These are your options. Okay, where do you go from here? Hmm. Okay. Bottom line. Now oh, let's shuffle again. This actually flipped out. Let's read it first. Mm, and the path to healing and forgiveness. And it looks like you're gonna be freeing each other from your shackle of fears. Good for you. Alright, let's take a look. <clears throat> now, this is you right now. This is your partner right now. Hmm. This is actually how you feel about each other. And this is... Well... Your views about each other. And what will be the final solution and your, you know, and how will you be like fixing your, mu your mutual differences? Well in your where do you go from here the thing that's been affecting your relationship is one overindulgence two it's like uh, there are too many options there are too many things that you want to do at once and your partner is just being practical which is i feel like this is the thing that you cannot really understand at this point you know it's like like for example i want a dog i want a baby i want a house i want a car i want this i want that and then your partner feels like, okay, one by one, you know, we're going to get there. We're going to get that. We're going to, you know, have a baby, have a dog, have a, a house, a car, and whatever it is that you want. But one by one at its own time and phase. But with you, it's like you want to do it all at once. So I feel like this is the reason why the two of you are not really, you know, there are some things. I'm not saying that this is exactly what's going on. But what I'm trying to say is that there are some things, desires, want in your relationship or that you want from your partner and your partner could not really provide give it to you and you feel like let's take it to the next level let's do this let's do that you know let's you know move to a bigger house or something like that and then your partner feels like okay but not now you know can't you wait so i feel like 
the thing that's been affecting your relationship is um, or what's causing the problem is actually um, I can't say lack of finances because you have it but I feel like there's one of you who feels a little bit insecure over the other and the other one just want to feel secured and preoccupied because you know either your partner or you are too busy working and now I feel like there will be a major breakthrough which is I feel like there will be, be an, like a big break you know for the two of you to spend more time together have a you know renew your bonding and I feel like there will be some karmic healing there will be turnaround of things there will also be healing from the past past hurt past offenses and uh, you'll be making amends to each other's faults and uh, you know we'll try to make up those missed out promises and the two of you will still be working out and will be you know offering your cup of love to each other meaning that the two of you will be coming up to a mutual decision you will be you know like you will sit down face each other lay down all the cards like you know you've been always preoccupied i'm getting a little bit bored and I just want to have something on the side so that I won't have to keep on waiting out for you until you're free. So, and then your partner will understand that, yeah, I know that I've been busy for, you know, for quite a while. And I do understand where you're coming from. But the thing here is you also need to understand that I am just being responsible. And I am just trying to fix our lives in the future, you know. that this I'm not really doing this just for myself. But I am doing this for us in the future. So... I feel like there will be some diplomacy and there will be like a very smooth talk about how you really feel about each other. It's just that one of you, well, in a relationship, there will always be like stubborn and there will always be one who's matured. Well, some, well, some relationships, actually, they are combined with both immaturities and childishness. That's why their relationship doesn't thrive. Now, the bottom line here is this is you. You feel so stuck in your situation. You feel so stuck to wherever you are right now that you feel like there is no answer or solution. And this is how your partner feels right now. He feels alone. They feel like they need some guiding light. They feel like they need some company. They feel like they need somebody to talk to. Okay? Now, the things that's been affecting, you know, your relationship is the impractical desires, the impractical, you know, the uh, immaturities and childishness as well, the impatience. I feel like there is something that you want to happen in your relationship out of boredom and out of, you know, a little bit of impatience. Even though, let's say, for example, that you've been waiting for seven years, ten years, you know, you know, for the for your partner to marry you or go to the next level, or do this, do that. I feel like without the better communication, you're not really going to come up with a better solution, which is your partner is kind of a little bit emotional, physical, and mentally tired because of overworking. And you, it's like you cannot really get through the mind and heart of your partner. Now, you just want to have more time. You just want to spend more time. You just want to have more bonding. You just want to get the attention of your partner and your partner will somehow understand where you're coming from and there will be healing. Okay. The three of swords that has been present in your, in your relationship before it will find all the swords. It will slowly get pulled out and there will be healing in the process. And your, your mutual differences. I feel like your partner is just, uh, afraid and just want to prepare for the future like for example not because that right now it's flourishing it will be flourishing overflowing forever there will be some dry times and there will be some rainy days okay so that is what your partner is trying to prepare yourselves and your relationship or family right now but with you it's like no you know now is the right time now is the best time we need to you, you need to do this we need to do that okay so you're already growing a little bit more impatient because you've been on the side for, you know, for quite some time. And your partner it seems very, um, what do you call it? It seems very, uh, uh, what do you call this? Like a contented, okay, with whatever that's been going on in your relationship. And 
It's like you want to, you know, um, move things a little bit. Rock the boat. For them to, you know, to wake up. So, the bottom line here is, you will be airing your side. You'll be telling the truth. You'll be like, you know, unleashing all the baggages that you've been keeping for long inside your chest. Which your partner will understand that, yes, uh, you know, I've been too preoccupied. I've been too conscious about this. I've been too worried about our financial security. But yes, you're right. You know, like this, like, like that. So, there will be mutual understanding. There will be... I feel like this time, it will solidify you more. It will make you even more stronger. And you will find out more that your partner really, really, really does love you. There is no any other person, even though you know your partner is charming. And there, I feel like there has been a history in the past. But I feel like right now there's nobody else. Okay, so rest assured that you're safe and you're, there's no disturbance in your relationship. Alright, Taurus? So anyway, that's it for you for now. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net. Blessings to you.